Now, for the first time since being sworn in, Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling sat down with me for a one on one interview today. And he enters his new role with a full plate of challenges. High on that list, lowering crime in the city. Not even a month into the job, I asked Snelling what has surprised him the most since becoming superintendent. I've been here for years, and um, nothing is surprising. I do realize there's a lot of work to do. More than 30 years on the force has prepared Superintendent Larry Snelling for his latest challenge, running the nation's second largest police department. I asked him what he sees as the number one public safety threat facing Chicago. We have to find a way to hold violent criminals. Um, accountable. Our officers uh, over the past three years have um, recovered a record number of guns, made record numbers of gun arrests, and still shootings and violence persist. I had a conversation not too long ago with, with some of your predecessors, and they talked about how they were surprised at the level of politics in this job. You know, it, it, it's, it's funny. My experience with uh, the mayor has been it, uh, pretty much hands off. He's allowing us to do what we need to do um, to figure out how we're going to fight crime moving forward. Snelling acknowledges he's taking over a department that is short roughly 1,500 officers. Are you going to fill those? Do we need more cops in the city of Chicago? Oh, we, we, we will take all the officers we can get. We have to have a boost in recruitment. Um, what I'd like to do is recruit from neighborhoods, recruit from communities. One of Snelling's first moves was to eliminate tiered deployment and the cancellation of officers' days off. This is a tough job where they face danger every single day and they have to have time to decompress. Those are their days off. Now, we do know that we're short officers, so there are going to be times where we're going to have to cancel days off and there's going to be overtime. On the topic of mental health, I asked Snelling about the mayor's treatment, not trauma approach, hiring civilian specialists to work with police. How exactly is that going to work? If we can send people there who specialize in dealing with uh, individuals with mental health issues and free up our police officers to do proactive police work, it's going to be truly helpful to us in the future. Now, thousands of asylum seekers are still sleeping on the floors of police stations. I asked the superintendent about how this migrant crisis is impacting his department and how he plans to tackle the perception that Chicago is a dangerous city. More from our conversation coming up on the NBC5 News at 6. We're looking forward to more of that conversation. You asked the questions I think everybody's been thinking about. A lot about. of questions. We'll yeah. have that coming up. All right. Thanks, Devin.